Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to download and install CMake on Windows. Also I will show you how to use CMake GUI to configure a C++ project. And also how to use the command line called CMake to configure a C++ project. So first let's download and install CMake. Here let's type CMake. Then let's go to this first link, it is cmake.org. In this page, let's click on download. Then let's scroll down. And let's download this installer. So let's click on this link. Now we need to save this file, but in my case, I have already downloaded it. So I will cancel this download. So this is the installer of CMake, let's run it. In this window, let's click on Next, then let's accept the license, then let's click on Next. In this window, let's check this box, and let's click on Next. Then let's accept this default path where CMake will be installed, and let's click on Next. Now let's click on Install. Now the installation finished correctly, so let's click on finish. So here we can see that this shortcut has been added to the desktop. Now we need to add CMake to the system environment variables. So let's go to the folder that contains CMake. So it is installed on program files into a folder called CMake. Now let's open this bin folder and let's copy this path. Now let's go to the system environment variables. And here let's update the path variable. So this is the path variable, let's select it and let's click on edit. So at the beginning of this field, I will paste the path to provide it with the highest priority. Also, I will add a semicolon as the separator between the different values. Now let's click on OK. Then OK, OK again, and let's close this window. Now let's use CMake GUI, so let's run this application. Now I want to use CMake to configure this C++ project, so let's open this folder, and let's copy this path. Let's paste the path here. Then I need to provide the build folder, so let's open this folder again. And let's create a new folder inside this folder. Let's call it build. So this folder will contain the binaries of this project. So let's copy this path. And let's paste it here. Now let's click on configure. And in this window, we need to select the building tool that will be used to build the application. In my case, I want to build the application using MinGW. So here I will select MinGW. So this is MinGW make files. Let's select it and let's click on finish. And here we have several variables that we can configure. For example, we can uncheck this box or also we can check it. In my case, I will uncheck this box. Now let's click on generate. And now the make file has been created. So let's go to this folder. Then let's open the build folder. And here we have this make file that can be used to build the application. So let's open the command prompt. Then let's call the make tool of MinGW, which is called MinGW32-make. Now the application has been created, and we obtain this executable file. So let's test it. And we obtain this output. Now I will show you how to use CMake using the command line. So let's open this folder and let's create a new build folder. 
So this time I will call it build2. Now let's open the command prompt from this folder. So let's type cmd in this field. And here let's type cmake hyphen hyphen help. And here we have the list of the supported generators. In my case, I want to build the application using MinGW. So let's copy the name of this generator. And let's execute the following command. So here hyphen G allows us to select the generator and hyphen D allows us to configure the preprocessor variables as we did using CMake GUI. And here we have to provide the path of the source folder. In our case, the source folder is the previous folder. Now let's hit enter. Now the make file has been created, so we can call the make tool. And the executable file has been created. So let's test the application. And we obtain this output. Finally, thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to the channel.